What is up guys, Joe Holland here. Welcome back to the channel. I am on another journey. Little bit different one this time around. I am with some friends. I have Donnie Johnston, 81 years old, 80 years old, maybe 83. I don't know, we'll have to find out. And his grandson, are on this trip along with one of my very best friends in the world my college roommate pat lasad and we're all meeting up right here in one of my favorite towns on the whole planet millinocket maine and we're gonna go to lobster lake lobster lake is named for the giant lobsters that inhabit this freshwater lake in the middle of the north maine woods no i'm just kidding Lobster Lake is named for the shape of the lake. It's actually in the shape of a lobster claw. Oh, this guy's gonna try it right in front of me. All right, give it to him. Don't worry about that trailer I'm hauling. <laughs> oh man. Lobster Lake, shaped like a lobster claw. And there's a big part of the claw and a little part of the claw, just like a lobster. Northeast of Moosehead Lake, a little bit east of Moosehead Lake. And this trip's gonna be weird because I actually don't know if this trip's gonna happen because there's so much snow up here. And we knew that coming in. Donnie said give it to her anyway, so we're gonna try it. But there's a chance this trip doesn't even happen at all because there's over, well over three foot of snow, it looks like, maybe even over four foot of snow. And if it's too powdery, we won't be able to get these snowmobiles in and out of there. Now, I brought my old snowmobile for Pat. He's a little bit bigger than I am. And Donnie's got his old snowmobile for he, him and also for his grandson. His grandson, Elliot, will probably ride with me. And I have my new snowmobile. It's pretty heavy machine. It's got the 20-inch wide track and some pretty decent paddles on it. So the only way this trip's going to happen is if I can get in there first, break trail with that, pack a trail down so they can bring in the older sleds. Otherwise, the snowmobiles won't be able to go. They'll just plow through the powder and spin out underneath the tracks. Hoping that doesn't happen with the new snowmobile or we're going to have some trouble. We are staying at Donnie's son's camp up in the North Main Woods on a small pond. The small pond is, I think it's closed to ice fishing. I better check before we get in there just in case we need it as a backup plan. And then we're about seven to 10 miles away from Lobster Lake. So if we can't get in there, I don't know what we're gonna do. We might just turn around and head her home. Whoa, that's quite a snow fort. But I think I'm gonna be packing a lot of trails with my snowmobile. And then hopefully when we get to Lobster Lake, it's not slushed out with all this snow on top of it. So this whole trip is a coin flip. It's one of the deals when you don't, when you're heading into the North Main woods and it's wilderness and you don't know anybody that lives up here and nobody really lives on that lake anyway. So it's all a coin flip. Alrighty, we are on the Golden Road, heading west. Just left Millinocket a little while back and crossed the Abel Bridge. Got a good look at Katahdin, which was surprising because it was mostly foggy coming up. And there she is, popping right out of the ground. Standing tall, almost, almost a mile high. A little bit taller right now with all that snow on it. But it just depends if you measure from the base or not. We are heading in. The guys, I don't think they realize how this trip is really a coin flip right now, if that. It might be even less than a coin flip because all the pressure's on my sled getting in and out of there because there's no way in heck their sled could get even over the snowbank, 10 feet past the edge of the snowbank in this fluff that's probably four foot deep powder. So entire trip's gonna really base on whether my snowmobile can get it even into the camp or not. It's a little bit over a mile to get in there. So I got a set of snowshoes. I don't know if they brought snowshoes or not in case we can't get the snowmobiles in so we can at least stay there tonight or the next couple nights. But this trip just went from a fishing trip to a struggle trip, I think in a hurry with all this snow. Now it's more of a adventure of trying to get in the camp. From there, we'll see how it is getting from the camp to the lake, you know, another seven to 10 miles of unplowed and unpacked roads. And then if we get to the lake, then you gotta worry about the slush that's accumulated on top of the ice, which can be an absolute killer for snowmobiles, as you well know, if you watch my channel. And I not brought good, the slush no. magnet with us for Pat to drive. Not good. So not being negative not at all, worried. just really thinking all the factors ahead of us that are gonna make things really tough. 
and trying to be the best prepared I can and get myself mentally ready for the challenge ahead of us. I am not a seasoned snowmobile driver. I did not grow up with snowmobiles. You've pretty much seen all of my snowmobile experience. If you've watched my channel for the last couple of years, you know, with the little 370 then to the new one. So it's not like I'm experienced and I know what that snowmobile can do. I'm gonna have to learn what it can do, either positive or negatively, you know, find out what its limitations are or hopefully go beyond what I think its limitations are. You know, I'm not, I'm gonna try to throw my weight around and keep it upright and flat and on top of the snow rather than burrowing underneath it. I'm gonna be the first to tell you I'm not an experienced driver that knows what he's doing. A lot of it's just, I'm gonna have to learn. What do you guys think? Moose. A lot of snow. <laughs> look, so they lose their antlers in the winter, so the only way, way you could tell if it was a male or female is you gotta look in that drag mark and see if there's a, another <laughs> footprint. <laughs> Holy cow, guys, we got some deep snow. This is that, right? Yeah. That's the road. At least the moose went down it. Yeah. We got some cereal snow. Cereal, cereal snow here, Pat. Look at a little bit of snow, it looks like. What do you guys think? Doesn't look terrible. It only looks about four foot high. <laughs> Maybe we send the boy in with snowshoes to pack us down yeah. the trail. Yeah, it's not far, Elliot. It's only a mile. <laughs> <laughs> He's done. <laughs> he was just about to say it was okay. I think you're going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't reached bottom yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that. I'm shitting you. This is something. <laughs> well, we, we're here, so we got to try it. But are you guys willing to help dig if I get buried? Yeah, Elliot is for sure. <laughs> what track is that? Buffalo. Oh, yeah. Buffalo. Looks like a coyote. Ah, maybe not. Not right here. Oh, that one, yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Donnie? I don't know. I think you're going to get freaking buried, but... <laughs> <laughs> but what? <laughs> Why didn't we bring a plow? What do you do with the plow? You can at least knock this coming back. So wow. Oh, this isn't the problem. It's that. Is that? I could fly over this, I think. Yeah. Where the hell? Wow, that's something. You think it's worth a try since we're here? We're here, so yeah, it's eleven o'clock. If, if we don't try it, we'll never know. Well, let me get suited up, right. get the old girl out. We'll see what happens, or the new girl. We'll leave take the, the pants out right there first. Yeah, I want yeah, you to take a rip that. first, Pat. Hold her right wide open. If I can go, I'll go down to the corner and come back and get you guys. Yeah. I won't even go down to the lake right. yet. Right. If I can go, yeah, but we'll know pretty quick, yeah, yeah, and it's right. gonna wanna. Like when I had in the, yeah, it's yeah. gonna want to get stuck and do, like drift and do this. And last time I was able to like jump on a side. Yeah. But all right, guys, wish me luck. What, what, right. Should I go in high or low range? Does it even matter? I'd go high range. Okay, regular mode. Yeah. See in ten feet. Yeah. Any bets on how far I go? Um, 17 feet. Okay. So, that's not looking good.
I hate to go much further, but we're close. Made it to the corner. Ah, uh, it wants to get stuck a lot. Yeah, I gotta go down. I I got it like one and a half wide now. Oh, wow. It wants to pull me. Yeah. <laughs> I had to keep jumping side to side and flatten her, but I think if I flatten her, I don't know about getting down to the camp, but we'll figure that out after the nice corner. Job, what do you guys think? At least, yeah. It's it's a little powdery in there. Yeah. It's deep. I had to get off one time because she wanted to roll over. And it was... When you guys get on it, after I come back out, stay on the freaking trail. Yeah. Because I'll try to flatten it the best I can. Yeah. So.
All right, I'll be back. Right. Hopefully a little quicker. How long was that? I didn't even look. Yeah, about 15 minutes. Was it? Yeah. Good. Great. I'm not gonna. I think one more time we're golden. Yeah, went pretty good that time. You want to come, Elliot? If you take your tow behind, that'll pack it too. You think so? I don't want to take that yet. No, okay. Yeah, I had a little bit of trouble getting turned around. It almost got stuck. But I could bring Elliot on, on the back for weight and do one more time. There's like two spots that are a little tricky, but it, that coming out was pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Yep, so I. I think we're gonna be good. All so, right, good luck. All right, I'm gonna make one more run in with, with Elliot on the back. Okay. I'll pack that down, then come back we'll up get and get unloaded. you guys. You having fun so far? Oh, I am having a blast. Think you guys are all set? Just go easy. You don't need speed. I don't think so. Okay, just make another couple runs first. Yeah, I think so. I think we really ought to beat it down. Yeah. And then we can probably throw everything in my tote sled. Okay. But Elliot will ride with me. And you guys come behind me. I packed it down at the turnaround. Okay. Just go easy. And if you start that, if it starts sucking you off the trail at all, crank the brakes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Crank the brakes. If you start going oh, off the trail, because yeah. it'll suck you. There's nothing suck to the you sides. Right yeah. Yeah. I even did it that time. Looks like no problems for him. Any problems? Oh. Perfect. Oh. Okay, cool. I think I'll pack that trail alone. I'm gonna try to, should I go to the parking spot, turn it back, or should I try it? I think go to the parking spot and pack that down. Okay. Get to that point. Perfect. And then help you if you need it. Okay, cool. I feel better you guys made it this far. Oh my God. You're, you're lucky you made it. Yeah, there was a little touch and go the first trip. Yeah. I got I was getting stuck a, I was getting stuck a lot. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Alright, I'll I'll run in. I'll leave Elliot with you.
that's better. Love this machine.
stuck that's not good Shit. Uh, all right I got her stuck but not stuck bad because I've already been through here once that was better than being stuck on the lake in that slush but I'm gonna take my jacket off because I'm smoked with sweat already and I'm gonna dig her out some. She's sitting up on the rails is what's going on. So the track's not touching anything. See, I don't even know if I can move this sled or not. Let's try. Take her easy for a sec. Nope. I don't believe I'm lifting that. I wonder if that slush is like all stuck up under there and and uh, keeping me from dropping down. When the track stops making contact with something a little more solid or packed, it'll kick it out, spin it out like spinning a tire, and then you're stuck. Especially if there's something pushing on the front of you, like all this snow. So I'm gonna dig her out and. Kind of shake her back and forth and see if I could catch something. Maybe even try her in reverse a little bit, see if I can free her up. All right, let's try that. My goose her. I think if I give it to her I can pop her right out. Nice. Not bad. Now I just gotta stay on my trail if I can. Might be easier said than done. Probably try to keep her moving huh? Uphill like that. Should be good. I think this 
was the bad spot. Oh, I guess that's a bad spot. Oh man, she don't want to go. Come out of here. That was the one bad spot I knew about. I'm gonna have to pack this down. I figured you were stuck. Yeah, oh I got geez. stuck. I couldn't stop where Donnie wanted, so I had to go to the lake. Did you make it? <laughs> yeah, I got in some crazy deep slush. I can't even believe she popped out. Really? Deep, like not even moving, just like this. So what are you gonna have yeah. to do? And then I got stuck coming up. So this is the only, I got stuck this second time. So uh, I'll just have to pack an area down there for us. I might not be able to get around. Should I stay down there, fight it down there? Uh, you should definitely stay down there. Yeah, we gotta figure out. This is the only bad spot here. Isn't that right around the corner? No, you gotta go down a hill. It's not far. I mean, it's another 700 yards, maybe 800. But, but it kept sucking me off the trail right here. Yeah. I must get sucked off back there. Really? Yeah. How, how's that sled doing? No problem. Wow. Yeah. That muffler's getting a little rusty. Think if you. I got a shovel. Just let, just get somewhere where I can get around you, because it gets bad down there. I can back right back up here. I'll go out. Get, I'll go out. Okay, hey, do you want this? No, not till the way back through. <laughs>
don't come this way. Why don't you wait for me to get everything packed to hell? I think that trail will be a lot easier if I if I break it coming downhill. Still stuck guys? That's not good. Could I strap it, pull it? Would that work? Are you able to lift it or pack snow under or anything? Can you pack snow to the side of it, lift it up, and set it on top of the snow? You can't? You friggin' chowder heads. You should have waited till I got everything. No, it was fine. I made it fun. The speed wouldn't turn anymore, so I kept having to go back and forth. Yeah. That friggin' thing smells slush. If that sled smells slush, he's buried. Whew, she definitely buried. Yeah, you guys all right? Yeah. Don't work up too bad a sweat. Hook her up. I hope there's enough room. I hope I can reach. I hope I hope there's enough rope. Oh yeah, she's fine. Oh, I don't <laughs> think so. Pull the sled a little closer. Okay, I'll do that. Oh. Can you get it around this? Oh no. You back up a hair. I oh can't. man. Let me know how much I got. Ready? Yeah, keep coming. Oh, yep, oh, yeah, good. Is that enough? Yeah. How do you want it? Like that? Whatever it'll hold. Right. Put some tension on it. Yeah. I think I'm going to want to snap it, right? Yeah, would you, would you want me to... I don't know what to do. I think we could... Huh? Let me start it, put it in here, and then I'll pick up on the back, and he can run the throttle. Okay. The brake's off, right? Huh? Is the brake off? Is it? Here, just grab that side. You tell me when. I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's just the way it goes, bud. Sometimes that's just the way it goes, that's right. Well, we made it. Donnie's left us, so we're on our own. Have you made it back up the hill yet? No, I don't believe. I think I'm going to have trouble going up this hill because it's got turns. and You're going to just try to... Yeah, I think we'll use this as like the turn. Come down this way, go back up that way. This thing can't make that sharp turn. You might need to... <laughs> We're doing it boys, we're really doing it. I think we're gonna make it. I'm gonna go get Donnie. This is a perfect example of what wisdom is over youth. Those guys got that sled buried about oh five, six times. I don't know what the hurry is. They, they won't let me back the tra trail down for them. So they're in there digging it out. But Donnie, look at, I wanna show you guys what wisdom is. Look at wisdom. Wisdom sitting here waiting until everything is right. That's what a smart <laughs> man. That's what a smart man does. Those <laughs> those two jokers got that sled buried. They, they got it buried every two feet. They won't wait for me to back a trail down. They, 
Yeah, they thought, well, I think they came in thinking you were stuck. I was stuck. I got oh. stuck uh, twice, but I got her out. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. You want to put this wood in? Yeah, we probably ought to, huh? That's what they said. Well, <laughs> He doesn't want to burn his own wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, what do you think, old boy? Uh, Pat, I got an extra pair of bibs and boots. No, I got this is how we fishing down East Main. <laughs> Carhartt jacket and jeans. Oh man. Oh. Snow pants or no pants? That's right. A pair of shots for the camp. That's it. Well, what do you think of the old panther? What she do you think of the old slush good. magnet? She, she, she doesn't like the slush too much. No, how was it coming out of that hill though? Like just um, up. It was it, all right. Is it, it a challenge? A little bit. Yeah. Did it spin a lot? Yeah. Yeah. If but, this warms up and and like, you know, makes a snowball, we could pack a nice trail down. Yeah. Can you take all the wood down? Might as well take it all. <laughs> take it all. This thing will beat a trail down. No kidding. Yeah, we got two big water it's jugs. Quite a lot of weight in. You think you can haul it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, or I could just take the small one and you can have this thing. Wow, oh, that fit nice. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, Beautiful. no problem. You can rent Well, it. that's the first thing he's ever given you. Oh he, my god. He's trading. He's not even he's, giving it. Oh, he's trading for the other one. Yeah. Oh. Alright, do we sorry. need to bring anything else? Uh, we can know. come back out. No ice fishing stuff, right? All right, guys, we'll give you a midday update. Date. That took two hours to get in, break trail. I got stuck twice, two or three times. Yeah. For real stuck, like get off and shovel. Pat got stuck about six times. It wasn't my fault, it was Elliot's fault. Elliot's fault? <laughs> I'm just here you for the ride. You wouldn't get off the sled, he said. Yeah, he was afraid he was gonna drown. So when you were lifting it, he was yeah. still sitting on he was it? He out on the sled, he didn't want Hell to get yeah. wet. This is just slander. <laughs> Like, oh, I'm so nice glad I'm not the I'm so glad around. I'm not the youngest here. <laughs> Remember when poor friggin' uh, Andrew was the youngest? Oh, yeah. He was bad. Yeah. Like that first year we went ice fishing, he was like, "Dad, they're always giving me so much crap." Yeah. That's... Remember that? Yeah. Did he cry? And Donnie was like, "That's just the way it goes." Leave my new guy alone. on the block. I love him. Oh, the new guy on the block really gets it. Yeah. That's gonna pack a trail right there, Bob. Oh yeah. Man, this is all this is over your waist height. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know what's good about these old camps? Wow. Is that the last guy to leave always builds a nice fire so it's dry in there. All you gotta do is touch a match. That one's empty. <laughs> Who was the last one here? <laughs> of course. Of course. The last time I was here with Donnie, we watched a bear swim the whole lake. And tucked in behind that island, ran up in the woods. Yeah, you see remember it? that? Yeah, I remember. Come here. Careful. First time I've seen a bear. Freaking huge. Yep. Pat and I saw. I don't know if the dogs would. They, you know, it was during. I think dog hunting season. On you can't hunt dogs in Maine, do Yeah, you can chase bears with dogs. <laughs> it's just like college. Your top bunk. Yeah. Well, I don't know what the weight limit is on that top bunk, though. So. Well, I've never slept on top. You're sleeping below him, so I don't care. <laughs> you sleep up top. I'm sleeping down bottom. Elliot's sleeping above me. Yeah, I sleep up on there. There's no way I'm sleeping up here. Yeah, you can sleep up there. Yeah. I'll help you out. It's warmer up top, Pat. You're always cold. You're going to roast up there. Did you guys ever think we were going to make it in? Not really. I not, didn't either. Not after, not after looking at that. You know, getting up over the hump there by the road. Yeah. I'm not sure we were. I think it might be colder in here than it is outside. It's definitely colder in here. Yeah. yeah. Good job here, Bob. <laughs> Elliot, how you feeling about this trip, bud? Oh, I'm wicked excited. Nice. Elliot likes it. Just if we were here all week right in camp. Elliot works for me, and I wouldn't have hired him, but his grandfather, Donnie, begged me to hire him. So I hired him, brought him on, he did a great job, he's awesome. 
And then Donnie, every single day last summer, asked me why I haven't fired him yet. <laughs> he said, he said, you gotta fire that son of a gun. And I thought he was doing a great job, but Donnie said, get rid of him. Well, he took more time off than he did working. That's true. He didn't get many hours, but he came through at the end when I needed yeah. him. He's certainly good, not good at carrying groceries and stuff in the camp. He was going to bikini <laughs> parties. Was he? Or string bikini parties, I think. Wasn't he, Donnie? Yeah. I did see some pictures yeah, of him Yeah, string, string bikini. <laughs> this is just Elliot slander weekend. Here. <laughs> it's going to be hard on you for the first day or two, bud. That's camp. That loop I made out there by accident, you know, I kind of came down and had to turn around. And it just started sucking me in. I cannot believe that thing made it out of that. There's... Two foot of snow on top of easily a foot to two foot of slush. And she had the skis up in the air and just barely rolling out of it. I don't know if I got it on video or not, but I was packed up because I knew how bad that would have been. And that's a long way from here. That would have been awful. Oh, he's letting us bring the wood in? Yeah. Those are all the names that signed my flat on our ice fishing meet and greet seminar day pretty awesome really big day for me big humbling day and i was super touched by all the people that came out and hopefully we helped a lot of people that day what it's all about in the outdoors but the old sled if you guys recognize that from the old videos we got pat running that thing he buried her four or five times already i don't know what he, he was in a pretty good hurry to bury it but there's the outhouse over there there's the dog's outhouse. About it. Now what? Eat and play some cards? Pat can snore. He cuts a couple cord of wood a night when he's snoring. It's not the snoring, it's the bre stop breathing and the screaming. Yeah. The swearing usually gets me. I think something's wrong when you start yelling fire. <laughs> I'd usually jump out of bed and look around. Sir, do you want a Lewiston lobster? Sure. How many lobsters can you drive into you? I'll just have one. That's it? Two. You want butter or, or ketchup or what do you want with it? Uh, butter, please. Okay. Poor kid. Poor kid. He don't even know. He don't even know. Pat, the nice thing about this trip is you're actually going to learn how to play cribbage. <laughs> bro, he he doesn't know how? You know? Oh, no kid. Yeah. I don't Elliot? think he's even caught my backpack yet. Elliot's a learner too. Elliot and Pat, both learning? Yeah. Okay. I they get 16, 16 2 team. for 4, 13 for 5. It's, it's a great game. I love it. Donnie and Woody were down here once trapping. And I came from came down from up north to visit them. And, and I thought it would be funny. I'd come in camp and start screaming, Main game wardens, open up! So they're in here and playing cribbage or something like pounding on the door and I yell main game wardens open up put your hands up and they come they come to the door they go hold on we gotta put our hearing aids in <laughs> and then they go what'd you say Joe <laughs> nothing <laughs> that was Woody's gotta be one of the funniest people I've ever met just total different dry main sense of humor tell them about the story we were setting traps, yeah. and I made Woody, I was setting them, and Woody was carrying the, the scent, mm -hmm. which is in a little bottle about that big, and I had a five-gallon bucket that he was had the scent in. It had it, the tools, the scent, yeah. a big roll of wire, extra it, traps. Yeah, and uh, you thought it was the funniest thing. Yeah, Donnie. Let Woody carry, Woody wanted to see trap line, so he let him carry the bucket. Bucket's like, probably good 20 pounds. And it was just a walking line, so they did a couple miles. And they walked the whole line, they didn't catch anything. So none of the traps were messed up, didn't need any wire, didn't need anything. Donnie gets the very last trap and, and digs through that bucket that Woody's been carrying the whole time. Gets a, a scent jar this big, takes one droplet out of it and puts it over the trap and puts it back in. Woody looks at that thing and he says, I could have carried that in my pocket. That's all you needed. Yeah. 
Well, we're going to have a good lunch. So I'm happy we made it here. I didn't think we would. What, what do you think about the fishing situation? Uh, iffy. Pretty iffy. <laughs> what kind of percentage would you put on a split? Set, uh, set five, I'd say week. five percent. <laughs> <laughs> State sales tax, five and a half. <laughs> but you never put ketchup on a hot dog. I only put ketchup on a hot dog. Yeah. People get right mad about it. Yeah. That is just pure ugly right there. I got lucky to make that turn. I can't even believe it. It is deep out there. What are you working on over here, old fella? We're working on American chopped suey. We got Pat here, so we have to make quite a bit of it. <laughs> I don't know who eats more though, him or Elliot. Elliot eats a lot. <laughs> Elliot likes the food. I hate chopped suey. You don't like chopped suey? Yeah. Do you want us to you make it? You don't like it? I only like Chinese chopped suey. I don't like American. Really? <laughs> Just kidding. Do you want us to make you something special? Yeah, I'd like a T-bone. A T-bone? We'll T-bone you. <laughs> this is all you're getting, Pat. That's it. Oh. Some ching food. Good. This is what my food eats, Donnie. That's it. No spoon. You have to use your fingers. I have never eaten salad with a spoon. No. Mm. You've never eaten salad with a spoon? No. Donnie wouldn't eat any salad last trip. Why? Yep. I don't know. He hates salad. Right he said, I didn't go on top food chain to eat rabbit food. <laughs> he <doesn't laughs> eat rabbit. If that jacket's in the way, Donnie, we can move it. It doesn't need to be hung up. It doesn't? No. It's dry. What do we need a knife for? In case, in case the rabbit comes to steal it, then we can stab him. How long do we have to wait for the rest of this meal? <laughs> Maybe till breakfast? Alright. Cooking with passive solar. Save your plate. Put your name on it. Yeah. You get one. For the week. Just like underwear. I hope this is done. Mm, no. Pat, I hope. We need a bigger table. No, I need to put it right here. Ah, that's so hot. It might not be in the middle. No, it's really not. Where's your beer? Uh, I put one on the porch for you. On the, It's on top of the... There's a white cloth at the trail turn. Is <laughs> <laughs> belt? Ow! No. Can I leave the door open? If you want to freeze. That's right. Jesus. <laughs> what happened? He's giving me a squid here. <laughs> I, gotta... gave, I gave Pat a half a scoop <laughs> and I gave Elliot two scoops. He put some in your bud water. I didn't right? even wait for the second <laughs> scoop. <laughs> I oh, think he's he stopped, he stopped, he stopped breathing. I don't think he oh, was breathing boy. when I gave Elliot the, the scoop. Tearing oh. Donnie, you've outdone yourself in your culinary arts again. Yeah, right. Jesus. It's too Slow down, nobody's fighting you for it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my God. It's funny, Donnie. Real funny. Well, we made a dent into it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll fill the void. Run of the camp. The, the trail in front of the camp. It's oh freaking twenty-year-old sled. It doesn't turn on a dime. <laughs> the thing doesn't turn on a on a, <laughs> a football field, especially with someone on back going <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing? He was just scared. He, he, he was like, where's him? my life jacket? Said, <laughs> he didn't want to get his feet wet. No, he wasn't. Oh, man. Oh, my I said, word. you just spent $300 on those bibs. <laughs> yeah, but what if I get cold? I'm like, yeah, you'd be all right. <laughs> you said that, Elliot. <laughs> no. 
I'm not getting off this. And he did this. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Look, like Elliot, come on, buddy. Oh. You're going to help me out here. Oh, God. He kept yelling Grampy. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> if we do one mile a day, break trail one mile a day, we've got seven miles to go to get the lobster. In a week, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. Yep. I'll give you Three. Three. Ten. Twenty. Twenty-nine for a go. Twenty-nine. Go. Thirty-one for two. Six for six. Sixteen. Fifteen. Nineteen. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Go. What's it go? Go. Nine. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, nice try, Grampy. <laughs> <laughs> <You're right. laughs> yeah, I think we got screwed in this region, no. in this general region right there. This, oh, not I don't so much think here. You can never move here. Wait, so I think mostly, here. mostly here. Yeah, like when he took Nine two, feet. added three, then added six, and then he moved his backpack back up. Anytime a guy moves his backpack in this game, no. you know he's cheating. I moved my backpack no. to show you that I had already <laughs> taken those two. So the one peg was for the go that you didn't let us have the first time. He's a backpegger. Oh, He's a backpegger. <laughs> he knows you're I a backpegger. You're oh, a backpegger. I thought it was a little shady myself. Right? <laughs> yeah, because you you're not used to get more than two points. You're like, three points? <laughs> That's <right. laughs> That's true. We must be cheating if I got three points. <laughs> that is going to do it for today, guys. Had a pretty awesome day getting in here. I'm pretty tired. That jumping on and off the sled and down into the snow and digging it out a couple times and all that stuff. But I did not think we were going to make it in today, to be honest with you. Once I saw those snow bags, five, six foot tall. What do you think? No, I didn't think no. it was happening. I will say I am super impressed with that snowmobile. To be able to come in and three to four foot of snow, all powder, no good. Uh, we got, I definitely put a little hurting on my belt today. When anytime you're getting stuck and digging in like that and digging it out, Donnie's belt is toast. And Pat, the old machine, the old, oh yeah, Pat, yeah, you had some digging today too. You must be a little tired. Anytime you get those things stuck, but I think Pat, uh, that thing was burping, you said, a little bit for some okay. reason. Probably just because it hasn't been run much this year. But plan for tomorrow. <laughs> what are we doing tomorrow? I don't know. We're going to find somewhere to fish, hopefully. All right, we're going to try to fish somewhere. So we might take a ride down to Moosehead. We've still got high hopes to get in the lobster. And hopefully we don't hit slush like there is out here. That could be real bad. But that's going to do it. Thanks for tuning in. Check in for tomorrow. Maybe we'll get on them.